Whether you are new to Keynote on the Mac or just not real confident in it, one of the best things that can help you is if you can figure out these five main areas on the Keynote software or app so you can know how to not only use the tool, but when you're looking up help menus or watching videos and they talk about these areas, you'll know exactly what they're talking about. In this short video, let me help you find your way around Keynote for the Mac to help you grow in your skills as a presenter. First of all, the biggest, most obvious part of the screen is the big image or text that is your slide. This is the content you're gonna put on screen when you present to share with your audience. Above that is what's known as the toolbar. This is where you'll find icons with text that serve as shortcuts to the main tools you use when creating and editing a presentation. Now, Apple does allow you to customize this, and I'll show you how to do that in other videos. But for right now, while you're a beginner or while you're new to using Keynote, I'd recommend leaving what Apple has set up there as the default. Now to the bottom of the toolbar and the right of the slide is an area known as the inspector. This can be confused with the navigator, but remember the right side is the inspector, which allows you to inspect or to view and adjust all kinds of details. It has sub menus and many versions that change depending on what you have selected on your screen. But for right now, just know that anything in the help menu or any video talking about the inspector is the right hand side of your keynote screen on Mac. The opposite side on the left hand side is what's known as your navigator. This allows you to view, sort, group, and organize your slides in a keynote presentation. It's also the easiest and fastest way to switch between the slides that you're working on as you build and edit your keynote file. Finally, at the bottom of the screen, this is known as the presenter notes. It's where you'll type in anything you wanna be able to see to help you when you're giving your presentation, but that you wanna keep hidden from your audience. There you have it, the five main areas of Keynote on Mac you need to know to grow in your skills and be able to navigate help menus relating to this software. And to help you out, I've created a PDF you can download in US letter or A4 paper sizes to help you as you're working through your presentation. That's it for today. If you wanna learn more about Keynote and how to grow in your presentation skills, check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thanks a lot.